singularity. One species stands quite alone. None other can rival them in their sorting out of instincts, turning each to their shining advantage. No creature can touch them at turning loss to profit, pain to pleasure, risk to certainty, or wasting struggle to unique satisfaction. These creatures, and these alone, have received in their nature some ingredient of ingenuity beyond present identification. They create, they pioneer solutions, they negotiate such treaties amongst the instincts that for daring and cunning they will last through the ages. I refer, of course, to the uninhibited, unprincipled, invincible monkey.
animal fair. The birds and the beasts were there. The blue baboon by the light of the moon was combing his open hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk and slid down the elephant's trunk. The elephant sneezed and fell on his knees and what became of the monkey monkey?
air. The birds and the bees were there. The boom, the boom by the light of the moon was combing his open hair. The monkey fell out of his bunk and slid down the elephant's trunk. The elephant seized and fell on his knees and what became of the monkey? monkey, 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 monkey. were just like you. One fell out of bed and stood on his head and said it's a quarter to two. With a rope and a hoop and some sticks, they did the most marvellous tricks. We'll open the door and then you'll see more of what became of the monkeys, 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 monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. Monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. monkeys, monkeys, monkeys. 